Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm indoors. It's been raining, windy and cold. <laughs> We're on the water signs and I'm a little bit late doing the water signs. So do forgive me, please understand this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So take what you can and leave the rest. So we have Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces. So we're going to do Scorpio first. Of course, we're doing the Witch's Tarot. And then we are doing... The gemstone alloys and crystal and the animal alloys with the angels that we're using the witch's tarot. Scorpio. Card Scorpio is is he? So the chariot what sticks out to me is black or white. So something that you're going to overcome because you're used to seeing things in black and white, as in it's either this or that, but it can't be anything else. Um something's going to happen that changes that that perspective for you and it will no longer be in black and white it's going to be in um, a lot more detail and you're not used to that but it's okay it's nothing you know bad or anything like that it's just seeing things in a new light then we have the three of pentacles and this is um I'll show you on here this is study time that's what this is this is a time to sit down and study it, maybe work out where you're going next and work out your finances. It's a time to sit down and organise lists. If you do lists, organise um, balances, etc. That's what this is saying. It's just time to sit down and to just try and gain some sort of knowledge um, that's needed and plan things out. Then we have the Four of Pentacles, which, uh, and what I see with this card is completely different to what I've seen with others. I see you thinking and contemplating a decision to make. Um, I feel like you feel balanced and settled. You get to a stage where you're feeling balanced and settled, but you have this niggling thought in your mind, Scorpio, at which path to take. It's like you have a very, it's a very important decision to make and you decide it's best to contemplate and take your time with it rather than to rush it, which is not a bad thing. And then we have the hanged man and this is always a new journey, so to speak. It's always the start of something new, it's renewal, it's leaving old behind to start a different path, a different journey, just different. So I guess that's where the decision comes in that you make which, which path this will be, where it will lead you to. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So it's a very good outcome because the King of Pentacles is very strong. Bear with me, guys. I apologise, dog barking at the delivery. <laughs> so yeah, this is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles are very strong, knows exactly what they want. They have abundance. Um, this is definitely growth, usually in business aspect or growth of money, growth of investments, but it could be growth of anything really, but it's definitely developing into a better person and being able to feel more settled and understanding the choices that were made were important to you. So it's a very good outcome regarding this decision that needs to be made it's it's definitely a good I'm sorry about that light but um, I need it for my plants my plants need light so yeah it's a beautiful beautiful ending really because you're very strong um, and you, you know you're very firm in your choices but that's a good thing so now we're going to have a angel crystal 
card and see what you get, Scorpio. This is a reading for this month, obviously. It won't resonate with everyone, remember. Ooh. Archangel Sandalfer. My life is dy dynamic and full of vibrant energy. I am full of vigour. I am authentic and loyal. I confidently show my true colours to others. It is a fabulous feeling to be all that I can be. I am full of life, enhancing joy and goodness. That's the sample form. And then your crystal is the peacock copper. Are you in touch with your magnificence? Find ways to bring more joy into your life. Be aware of the source of your emotional challenges or perceived blocks so that you can release them. Get in touch with your inner radiance and shine your light bright. So the crystal I can show you is the peacock or oh, beautiful crystal. So let's see what the animal allies have to say for Scorpio for this month. Sorry, <laughs> it flew at you. Elk. I am strong. My inner core is powerful. I am physically fit, mentally focused and emotionally balanced. Vital life force flows vigorously through me, providing me with endurance. I live life with vim, vigor and vitality. Vim, vigor and vitality. <laughs> Strange. I enjoy passionate relationships that restore balance in my life. That's the elk. The crystal is the brocaded jasper. How is your stamina? Do you feel healthy and strong? Do you let yourself relax and spend time with family or a group of friends? Take the time to renew yourself with the comfort of your favourite people. Spend some time with a companion of the opposite gender to balance your energy. Exercise, such as running or power walking, will help increase your endurance at this time. That's the crystal looks like. So, so Scorpio, that is your reading. Concentrate on your vitality, your energy, and pulse it up to a, a bigger vibration, basically, is what it's saying. And trust in your relationships and have some fun, because you'll come out on top. Love and light and many blessings. Hello, we are going to do Pisces now. We are using the same cards as what I've used on my other readings. It's the, the crystal and animal allies and the angel and crystal. And then the witch's tarot, which I already started. And this is for this month, Pisces. We're going to see... What comes out for you? Ooh. Okay. And that is the double page of love. Right, so Pisces, I do feel that you have had somewhat a time of battle. There's only three cards that have come out for you, so the two of swords, I'll pop it here. The seven of wands. Um, so there's been problems within family or relationships that have seen you having to stand up for what you believe in. But more than more than standing up for what you believe in, it's it has brought you empowerment as well because you were feeling less confident, but now you're feeling more confident. So with these two cards now, they've come out together. This is definitely something to do with communications and with another person, as in family or relationship, somebody close, even a work colleague, if they are close enough. But there's been blockages that have left communication out and unable to get through. And I feel like there's been confusion somewhere down the line. But still, with these communication issues and the problems that arise, you stand full force. This is what this one's showing. Right here. You stand full force and you, you're willing to take it on. You're willing to go forward because you know your beliefs. You trust in yourself and you continue the way that you're, you're supposed to continue. You don't change it, even though it feels like 
there's people around you that may try to be forced that decision you don't you stand strong and it's a good thing because we um, there's only three that came out no one has wanted to but the last ones are very important you see because it's the world so the choice that you make brings you abundance it brings you opportunities it brings you a full blooms life force it takes that full circle and it brings you back to like a new beginning a fresh start with plenty of options and abundance it's a definite positive outcome um, it brings new friendships in there's i see celebrations coming so carry on with what you're doing because you're not doing anything wrong you're absolutely in the right and i think you know you are um, so stand by that decision. It's correct. It's just what you need. So let's do the, let's see what animal I like for Pisces for this month, please. Thank you. Let's see what we got. Oh, coyote. I focus my attention on my behaviours and their results in order to learn from the past. Laughter and compassion for myself help heal emotional wounds. I am responsible. I stay with matters until they are settled. Then I understand them. I observe myself with a loving kindness. I accept myself and have tolerance for my way of being as I learn to grow, which kind of makes sense. That's just coming in to say work with that spirit animal if you so choose to, because the coyote will lead you the right way. The crystal is the malachite. Are you always able to laugh at your mistakes do you take time to learn from them have you felt like life is playing tricks on you observe yourself and the series of events that led up to a perceived mistakes find the humor and levity in the situation allow the energy of the lesson to help you mature and grow which makes perfect sense and that is the There you go, you see, so you are on the right path, definitely, and despite what others say around you, do not uh, let that discourage you, because you're doing it right. Okay, Pisces, let's see what Angel wants to, so it's an Angel Crystal, so we shall see. Okay, we have, ooh, who came out the Crystal first? The Cobalton Calcite. I've never heard of that one before, but it's beautiful. Are you in love? Are you craving health and feelings of well-being? Become a conduit for allowing heaven and earth to meet at your centre. It's time to acknowledge the essence of the divine love in you. Take the time to nurture yourself. Imagine yourself in the arms of the divine mother. Archangel Jophiel. I activate and embrace divine love. My emotions are balanced. I am clear and joyful. I am compassionate, wise and tolerant. The qualities of unconditional love, mercy and understanding emanate from my being. See, that also makes sense to me because that to me tells me that you are very compassionate towards the mistakes that others make, which clearly they will do. And that you learn from each one, whether it be your mistake or others around you, you still gain from that and you still learn, which is very good, Pisces, very good. That's your reading for this month. But remember, it won't resonate with all of you. Take what you can and leave the rest. Many blessings, love and light. Hello, we are back and it's Cancer for this month now. Remember, it won't resonate with all. Take what you can and leave the rest. So we are on Cancer, we're doing the Witch's Tarot, and we're doing the Animal Allah with the Crystal and the Angel with the Crystal, the same as the others. So, Cancer, let's see. It's taken me a while to get into this energy, but I have been quite busy, so I apologise. But I've not been feeling a lot of stuff happening, so don't drop it. We start with the Eight of Swords, Cancer, and this 
something to do with property and relationships, uh, being surrounded, surrounded and feeling constricted and not having clear vision in where you are going right now. Um, this is like in a, a stuck energy of feeling trapped, constricted, almost um, feeling it's I don't like that feeling though but just bear with me guys I remove these mm. it's almost be constricted in in decisions and which way to go it's not seeing what's coming clearly and it's the unknown and the fear of the unknown and feeling like you're surrounded it's but you will find that in a strength you see even though this person stood in alone, blindfolded, hands behind the back and surrounded by swords, they still get through it. So it's a card that says, yes, okay, you are going through something right now that you feel is impossible, but it is not. You will come out the better person. And we have the nine of wands to show you triumphant and making it to the other side. Even though there's been these blockages of some kind and there's been worry and, and a little bit of restriction like being constricted and not able to move and go the right way all of a sudden this bright light comes through and once this bright, bright light has come to you cancer and you've seen the way you will come out at the other side and you will triumph this triumph will bring about the sun and the sun is gaining wishes it's success it's new friendships, it's fun, it's light, it's empowering yourself. So this journey is important to reach newer, higher levels of consciousness or higher levels in status. It just depends, but the outcome regardless is extremely beautiful because as you know, the sun is opportunities, it's happiness, it's friendships, it's celebration, it's new achievements, it's empowerment, it's everything that you wanted, it's joy. So. If you're at a bad time, don't worry, you will come through it. Now, okay, so let's see if we can get an animal crystal. Oh, yeah, we can, but it's going to drop. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> oh, we've got the vulture. I accept the impermanent nature of life. I am a steward of the earth. It is easy for me to think green. I reduce the amount of waste product in my household. I reuse and recycle everything that I can. I leave our planet a better place and in better condition than before I arrived. So this is about rethinking and reuse, reusing things, um, strategies, etc. The crystal jet. Are you a conscious steward of the earth? Do you compost and recycle? Is there a part of your life that needs purification? Take responsibility for your footprint on the planet. Learn to neutralize and repurpose items that you no longer need it may be time to let go of something that is no longer vital healthy part of your life let yourself release and clean out and make way for the new and i think that's where you're stuck on that uh, burden of you can't see what's happening what's going to come forth you don't know and i think that's what that's saying so that suggests that the jet crystal may help you get through that and the vulture of course See if we can get you an angel card, Cancer. I've got it. Archangel Ariel. I am passionately persistent. I have the courage and self confidence to create my world. It is easy for me to take action and move forward in life with joy and enthusiasm. And then your crystals, the red tiger's eye. I love tiger's eye. Do you need some motivation? Do you find your mind wandering when you're trying to stay focused? If so, you need to find your passion and begin experiencing the rewards that come with living it. Do what you love. Prosperity is yours, but you must take action. Again, that's just telling you that even though you're in that state where you feel constricted and such, it's okay you're making the right choices. You're doing it the right way and the abundance will come if you take action. That's your reading, Cancer, for this month. Many blessings. I'm sorry it's been so long. Love and light.
thoughts and thank you for watching.